This morning, a friend on Twitter brought a very interesting Kickstarter to my attention. Hashtag Gamer, the documentary. I will not be covering the whole text of the campaign, so I suggest you go read it yourself. It's quite short, but here is a key excerpt. There's a lot of misinformation about Gamergate on all sides. Part of what we hope to accomplish is to provide a clear understanding of the people and factions involved and the series of events that has so fiercely divided the games community and the internet at large. It hasn't done that though. The majority of people using the internet have not heard of Gamergate. And with regard to the games community being divided, it already was, it always has been. But it's important to note that we aren't just looking to document the history of Gamergate. There are plenty of YouTube videos and viral images that attempt to do that already. We are much more interested in having the conversation about how to put this past us. Firstly, who the fuck are you? Secondly, I would have thought you were most interested in getting 50 grand to make a little film for yourself. I said I wouldn't be covering all the text, and that's because it's the least interesting thing about this. I'm going to be going through the Kickstarter video. If you ask 10 people what Gamergate is, you'll probably get at least five different answers. For some people, it's been a movement for better ethics in games journalism. Ah. This is Steven Totillo. Steven Totillo is the editor-in-chief of Kotaku. For those completely unfamiliar with what's been going down the past several months, the most well-known forum for discussing journalistic dodginess and corruption is called Kotaku in Action. What possible bias could affect the editor-in-chief of Kotaku when talking about the people who frequent this forum? There's no way he could have a vested interest in making this all go away. For other people, it's been a movement of harassment against uh, women. Can you believe this motherfucker said that with a straight face? He's one of the people in charge of making it so that people consider that. It is hilarious to go to Kotaku's editor-in-chief to get someone to say, oh, there are all these different perspectives on it. I think this core psychological motivation of gamer gators are people that feel that the game culture is under attack. Just keep what they said in your mind. This is not a psychologist. This is someone who made an iOS game, by most accounts, a very, very bad iOS game. Their empathy is criminally low. Like they don't, they don't see me as a person. That sounds terrible. What are those things that don't see you as human again? What did you call them? Gamer gators. And you say they lack empathy to the point that it should be criminal. You're right. These things should be exterminated. I'm so sorry they don't see you as human. Anything I do gets bombarded with hate. Attention is attention. A hit's a hit. Are you trying to make me jealous? You could be the Howard Stern of Choose Your Own Adventure stories. When a documentarian or a journalist or an academic asks to see it, when they ask to go through it, I'm like, okay, well, do you want the stuff that involves naked photos of me? God Jesus fuck no. I'm quite alright, thank you. And I'm pretty sure it's behind a paywall, isn't it? And you don't have to like Zoe Quinn. I mean, if you just look at the stuff people tweeted her, there's the unending stream of garbage and bullshit. If she really sincerely wants that to stop, she just needs to unfollow Kotaku. Nothing changed. If anything, it's gotten worse. I absolutely agree. Did you see that post where Patricia Hernandez just lifted a post off of Reddit? Normally, it's around the same kind of time you dye your hair blue or pink. <laughs> no. And if you want people to have an emotional reaction to this, you do not zoom in on the little watery-eyed mole rat man who looks like Pennywise the Clown had to get a job as a games journalist and couldn't afford makeup anymore. And what's the solution? Stop caring about ethics, guys, because it leads to some people getting bothered. If you cannot deal with this, you cannot be a journalist. Quit. And as far as this documentary goes, I would not touch it with a 10-foot pole, but I do hope it gets made. At least we'll have something to laugh at. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions. I have got a little update to an earlier video I made about a PC authority article covering game loading. If you comment in a negative or even critical way, the mods in their comments will alter your post with no notice and make you say things you didn't say. This practice is confirmed by a mod himself. A link to the video I did covering the article that's being commented on in these pictures should be on screen now.